Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.net and we had a question for one of our patrons over at Patreon.com on how to create a click-to-move system. So I've gone ahead and thrown this little example together. Let's go ahead, we'll start it up. And I just simply have this ball here. And as I click around on the screen or hold the mouse down, it just basically chases my mouse around. And if we look up top, I do have the little red line. Basically, it's just a decoration just to show me kind of what direction it's going into. It's just drawing a line between where I currently am and where I'm headed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the script. I've called it player movement and there's only one exposed variable and that's the movement speed. And let's take a look at it. All right, to start off with, I've gone ahead and created a float, which I called speed and it's just basically keeping track of, oh, basically what speed my character is gonna move at. We go ahead, we create a vector three and this is the target position where we want our player to move to. I've created a bool just so we know when our character is supposed to be moving or not. And this is just more of a visual cue on what button is being pressed. And I've gone ahead and made it a constant. I will take a look at that when we get to the update function. So we're coming to start. I want to go ahead and set my target position to my current position. And I want to say that I don't want to move. So I'm setting is moving to false. Now when we come down to update. Remember this fires every frame. And the first thing I want to do is just take a look to see if the player has clicked the left mouse button. We could have just put zero in here, but this is just a little more visually descriptive. But if they do do something with the left mouse button, either holding it down or clicked it for the first time in this frame, I want to go ahead and set that target position. So we're going to come down to the set target position. And what we're going to do is create this plane where my character currently is. And it's going to be stretching out from the center of my character with its up position pointing to whatever my current up position is. Then I want to go ahead and take where the mouse position is in this frame where I clicked and convert it to array. I'm just going to create this float here so I can store uh, the point where the player clicked. And I'm going to go ahead and get the ray cast. And I'm going to check to see if that ray intersects with my plane. Now, if it doesn't hit the plane, it returns false. So I guess we could put an else block there to stop us from trying to move there. But if it does hit, we want to go and put that point out, which is a float. But we're going to go ahead and take that float and convert it to a vector three. And then we're going to store that in our target position. So this is where we want to move to. And then lastly, we want to go ahead and say, hey, start moving. So we'll come back up to our update here. And of course, we want to check to say, hey, if we're supposed to be moving, go ahead and move the player. So we'll come down here. And this is where it's going to vary quite a bit from project to project. It really depends on how you're moving your, your player around. Are you using physics? Are you using the built-in character controller? Have you built a custom character controller? There's so many ways to move things around in game. I've gone ahead and just taken a basic approach and just use the transform. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the transform and use the dot look at to have my, my, uh, my, well, my sphere in this case, rotate around to look at the target position where I want to move to. Then I'm going to go ahead and start actually moving there. And I'm just going to use a vector 3.move towards. And of course, you just pass in your current position, the position you want to go to, and the speed. And remember, this is actually being called in the update loop. So you want to use time.delta time to smooth that out across frame rates. And then, of course, every frame, I also want to check to see if I'm at my target position. And if I am there, go ahead and set is moving default so I don't move anymore. And again, that draw line is just mostly for decoration in the editor, just so you can actually see where, where your target position is that you want to move to. And again, one quick little example of it. Oh, it's still running. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and move around. I'll go ahead and post this up on the Git server in case anyone wants access to this project. Uh, it's really available to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.